great. Yeah, so Kelly Eccles, CEO of Levanta Tech. So the nice thing for us here in Madrid, this is the first public reveal of our prototype. We are developing a float and fly drone. This is a unique vehicle that's designed to float stably in rough seas and also take off and land from rough seas. So we do a stole takeoff. But this is a close up of the vehicle. We have basically we can be deployed from vessels, from shore, potentially even from air. We can float indefinitely with low detectability. When we're floating in the water, that we actually, the, the horizontal midline of the vehicle, we, the water will come up to that level. That we can fly at high speed, at low altitude. So, as I mentioned, stable in rough seas. We have a short takeoff and landing. The motors are off while we're floating, which is how we save power. And then we can you know, have multiple destinations on a, or just a single destination. Uh, at a cost point where we can be attributable yet survivable. So the enabling technology for our vehicle are what we call hover foils. These are the feet of our drone, if you will. The, in the upper so left corner is a, a snapshot from wind tunnel testing. What we do is we blow air to the underside of the wing structure during takeoff and landing. Uh, for those of you familiar with wing and ground effect vehicles, the airfoil shape is similar to the Lippisch design or the reverse delta wing. Uh, the, the Airfish 8 and other vehicles have this type of uh, air structure. The, the difference being that instead of having a fuselage in the middle of that airfoil, instead we are connecting internal ductwork and blowing air to the underside of the wing. But this enables vehicle designs with very low center of gravity uh, and so then we can float stably in the ocean, even in rough seas. These are some of our vehicle concepts. The, the Holly uh, S, our scientific version, 100% battery electric, so with a so 50 to 100 pound payload range, so in the 35 kilo payload range, we've got a 250 plus mile range, so 300 to 500 kilometer range, uh, depending on the, how many stops and a cruise speed of 100 to 150 knots. The, the footprint for that version uh, is roughly so three and a half meters by three meter by one and a half meter. The, and then the Halia M, a military version of the Halia S, so it could be hybrid electric or jet fuel. The, with a similar payload, now the range goes up dramatically, 400 to 600 miles or 1,400 to 2,000 miles on the jet fuel ver version. Uh, and then we can scale up, scale up even further from that. The Halia X is a scaled up version for you know, basically a ton of, ton of payload, 3,000 mile range. So we're a dual use platform, a number of applications on the civil side, uh, defense side. The, the main claim to fame in terms of sustainability for us is that we can float indefinitely on the ocean with low power consumption. And that gives us a significant, you know, essentially new market opportunities. Things like quadcopter drones, helicopters, limited on station time. We can stay on station indefinitely and that, you know, increasing our overall transportation efficiency. All right, thank you. So this is an exciting time for us. We, you know, the, the prototype that's on the floor uh, here at the show, uh, that you can't see it from here, but we're just a stone's throw that way. We hope to have that in the water starting in January. So we are going to begin initial, this is really proof of concept testing for us in terms of takeoff regime from the water, flight characteristics, landing, doing some initial testing there. Uh, the goal is to be doing demonstrations by middle of yeah, 2024. Uh, with them from there, we'll, yeah, we think we'll generate significant interest at that point, and then uh, essentially pursue building a full-scale so commercial prototype at that point. That will probably take at least a year, and then from there, begin uh, commercial service offerings. We, we plan to start with a service offering as opposed to selling products yeah, initially.